Welcome to Prestige Motorsports. I'm Doug Aiken, and uh, just wanted to take a little bit of time here, kind of give you some inside detail on a new package we've been developing. So, uh, won't waste any time here. Kind of show you what we got going on. Basically, it's a 363 small block Ford, so it starts life as a 302 platform. Bunch of good parts. Uh, we'll start from the bottom, basically, you know, the foundation is a dart Iron Eagle block uh, stuffed with a nice Cali's Magnum crankshaft, Oliver billet rods, j and &E custom pistons. Uh, they're actually a newer design. They've got a Nicosil coating for this boosted application. Uh, up top, we've got the AFR CNC 205 heads and a solid roller camshaft. A uh, pretty mild cam, really, just because it is a turbo motor. It's going to be a street package. Um, so a solid roller from Comp Cams. We run a uh, BAM Products uh, Pro Series lifter. And uh, Scorpion Racing Rockers, of course. And then up top here, we've got the Victor 5-liter manifold um, from Edelbrock. So uh, it is sporting fuel injection, of course. And uh, this is a sequentially fired injection system via the MSD Pro billet running a box, of course, and it's all backed up with the uh, infamous Holly EFI. Um, we tend to use a lot of Hollies here. Real, real happy with uh, how they tune up and their program and such. So, uh, a little bit of detail on this. I guess I'll, you know, I kind of dug into the internal parts. Of course, where all the magic happens is these nice precision turbos. This is the new generation two uh, 6466s. Some may say it's a relatively small turbocharger, but um, the idea here was is basically a street package and uh, to have it come up on the boost immediately. So uh, we definitely have found to have achieved that already and uh, done a lot of testing, still got lots to go. I uh, just wanted to kind of do this video for not only the customer of ours, Mitch in Canada, uh, so he can kind of get an inside view on this bad boy but also for the rest of you that have been wondering kind of what was going on with this package. So uh, one of the things I'd like to just point out, you know, we, we basically every motor we do, whether it's our custom crate engines or these, you know, uh, more elite packages, is just the attention to detail and everything we do. You'll kind of see that on, you know, the, the hot side uh, turbo plumbing uh, from the headers to all the cold side stuff that we've done. It's all been developed in-house built to specifically fit in a Fox body chassis. And again, I'll explain that a little bit further, but just to go into the slight details that set us apart from some is uh, this guy wanted a custom painted, you know, combination. Uh, you can kind of see down in the bottom there, we've got the uh, custom pan. Uh, it's painted as well as the block uh, and it matches all the, the valve covers and such. And just, just to kind of highlight, you know, the attention to detail here, we've taken a a standard, you know, Ford Racing slant edge style cover uh, comes in a black uh, wrinkle finish, and essentially we have base coated it. We rem remove the base coat from the nice machine surface of the writing and the logo, and then bury everything in clear. Uh, you'll kind of see another representation of that up on the manifold. It's just a nice added touch. Um, you know, the detail we go a long ways to to make this stuff look good. Not only does it perform excellent. But, you know, on a, on a look standpoint, too, you pop the hood, you want it to look good. So uh, we've got the March pulleys and brackets on the front, of course. And uh, that's kind of a unique feature, too, is, is this is their style track version in what they call black onyx. So they have basically, uh, you know, black powder coated the uh, bracketry and then come back and remachine all the 45 edges. Just a really, really nice touch. So, of course, this guy's going to run AC uh, and power steering on this as well. So you got all the creature comforts uh, while you're backing up a bunch of power. So now, uh, like I said, where the magic happens is these, these new generation, uh, generation 2 turbos from Precision. So there's kind of a nice close-up shot of that. Um, like I say, they work really, really well. I'm coming up on the boost immediately quick. So there's very minimal lag. Uh, of course, you'll see uh, twin tile blow-offs. We're running uh, uh, twin precision wastegates. Everything's been built to fit in the car with relatively no modifications, which is super nice for the end user and customer. So you'll see we plumb the wastegate back into the exhaust system. Uh, just close-up shot on you know the attention to detail here and how close all the fitment is. 
you know, it's very, very tough to, to you know, get welds that are, are that narrow and, and, you know, look that good without having good pipe fitment. So I have to give a shout out to our fabricator in-house. Just does a wonderful job, really consistent welds, uh, very nice tube fitment. Um, and that's what sets it apart from being, you know, uh, just an average engine shop. Uh, of course, we do have our, our crate engine lineup, and then we've got, you know, our custom lineups. And anything, we'll develop it to, to meet or exceed your needs. And as you can see here, we've kind of done that for this customer. So this thing's pretty bad beast, really. Uh, we've went everywhere from a pound and a half of boost and uh, slowly just walked into it with a little bit more boost as we went on testing. Uh, still got a long ways to go on tune-up uh, to just get this combination finely tweaked. But uh, overall, nice looking package. So one of the things before I kind of get off of here is just to uh, show you guys basically what it takes to put this in the car. Um, like I say, it was all designed to fit in a Fox body chassis. So uh, the inner fender well or apron is, you know, in this area here. We've rotated everything far enough in to still have clearance from the pulleys and to clear the inner fender well so we don't have any cutting or hacking of the car. This uh, cold side tube coming up to the throttle body uh, actually protrudes through an original hole in the fender apron so there's no modification for that either. Of course we got all these bends down here to go around like core support and bumper brackets. Um, these little tabs here on the intercooler basically there's some brackets made and they go to the original uh, core support and there's an original threaded bolt hole there so uh, again just really nice and easy to install. Now there will be some modification to the inside of the front bumper cover and headlight bracing uh, that needs to be trimmed away to clear of course this big uh, air to air intercooler but uh, minimal work. Now on the driver's side uh, we do have to relocate the battery of course and then we're going to hole saw a hole around this pressure pipe to accommodate it to drop through and come down to the intercooler. Other than that pretty straightforward drop in ready um, even on this side here We've, we've basically gained enough clearance with the three inch exhaust uh, from the factory booster. You may, just depending on how the, the brake lines are routed, you may have to move those a little bit, but uh, you can disregard this piece of flex pipe that's just used on the dyno here because we had to kind of kick everything out to make the exhaust fit. So we've actually built the exhaust system to come down all the way to the cross member. Then the client can build from the cr cross member on back. So essentially a drop-in ready package you know for the guy which makes it super nice um, I guess I'll show you some numbers on it right now like I say we started started at low boost uh, this is actually 30 psi so you know we're starting to get up in there in the boost levels uh, but you'll see 1100 foot pounds 1172 horsepower uh, not too shabby for what it is um, you know and it's on 30 psi but I will point out that on a pound and a half of boost um, you know, it made like 510, 520 horsepower, uh, about the same, a little bit more in torque. Um, more than enough for a street car, you know, nominally at 8 to 9 pounds of boost made 700. You know, these numbers are made on some race fuel, of course, keeping it safe while we're tuning up on this beast. But it just gives you an idea of, you know, uh, the potential of kind of a, a small mouse motor. I mean, it's only 363 cubic inches, so... Uh, it's got, you know, it's definitely got some left in it, and uh, we'll definitely show you guys that in the future. So, just to wrap it up, 363 Twin Turbo from Prestige Motorsports, newly developed combination, going to a good customer of ours, Mitch, in Canada, drop-in ready for a Fox Body chassis. If you guys got any questions, don't hesitate, give us a call, there's the number on the wall, 704 7827170 and you can uh, also uh, reach us on our website at prestigemoto.com and uh, if you don't see a package on there that floats your boat definitely give us a call we'll be more than happy to uh, design and develop a combination that suits your needs thanks for watching keep in touch for other videos